Hello everybody, I am Brayman19 and welcome to episode 1 of a brand new series in Europe Universalis 4. This time we'll be playing as the Papal States. Yes, these guys right here. I think everybody is familiar with them, but not very many people have played as them. And I think there was a huge call for the Battle Pope this time through. Those who do not know, you can uh, like, subscribe, and comment on these videos. And you can check out my Discord in the link in the description below as a just nice little early plug in this series. And there's two very special important things that have occurred. So, number one is that this was the first successful vote on the channel. Um, I put out a vote uh, through really like a four, you know, a four step process vote. Three of the steps happened on my Discord, that's why you should join there. And then the uh, fourth one happened on my community tab. Uh, the four steps were really just a vote first off which continent we should play in EU4. The second one was breaking it down into which uh, super region we should go in. And then the third one was the exact region. And then the fourth one was on the community page as the ta as the uh, which exact nation we should play. So we chose Europe. Then out of Western, Central, and Eastern Europe, we chose Central Europe. In between... Scandinavia, North Germany, South Germany, in Italy, we chose Italy, and then we broke it down into the Papal State after that. So there you go, we have a very successful vote, hopefully we will have a successful campaign. The second thing is that this is the first time that a developer has ever given me early access to a game. That's right, if you're watching this before December 11th, I've got I've been given an early access free copy of this game, so of uh, this DLC. Uh, the Golden Century. I have all DLCs and expansions to this point, but I got the Golden Century free, so you're seeing this early. I would like to thank Paradox and those good folks over there for thinking of me and allowing me to do it. Um, I've never had this opportunity, and I would definitely will, uh, you know, be follow I'm definitely following the rules and doing what they're allowing me to. So you guys are going to see some of this before you can buy it yourselves. Hopefully, it will show you. Uh, it will kind of make the decision for you to buy it if you were on the fence or uh, if you weren't going to buy it because you just weren't sure what to expect, then here you go. I will go ahead and mention that the Golden Century really helps with Iberia and uh, Northern uh, Africa off here in the West. It does a little bit over here in the New World, and that's really about it. There's not too much else to it. There's some new achievements, things like that that come free. Not all that big a deal, but still, I think it's going to be a pretty worthwhile achievement. Maybe one day we'll go play in Iberia or Morocco or something like that just to see what it's like. Um, anyways, though, we're the Papal State this time, and we have. I'm going to try to go for an achievement this time, too. It is an achievement run. We'll be going for the Holy Trinity, which is, as the Papal State, we need to have the Teutonic Order, the Vonian Order, and the Knights as vassals. And then we also need to own Jerusalem. Uh, sounds easy. It's actually very hard considering how far away we are from these guys. And Jerusalem, of course, is either going to be owned by the Ottomans or Mamluks, so we're going to have to really build up to the point to be able to do something about it. So, uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started. The Papal State starts as a kingdom rank with Western tech, and then our Catholic nation. Of course, the Papal State is a papacy. Who would have thought that? We have Pope Eugenius IV to start out with. He's a 112. And we have a tech level of three across the board. Now here is where people say that the Pope is OP because his starting ideas, which are pa get papal traditions, you get diplomatic reputation plus one and religious unity plus 25. It leads to ecclesiastical pr uh, primacy, uh, tolerance of the true faith plus two. Papal investiture and tithes, national tax modifier plus 20%, glory of Rome, prestige decay minus 1%. Donation of Constantine, cost to fabricate claims minus 25%, centralized estates, production efficiency plus 10%, the Vatican Museums, diplomatic free policies plus 1, the Holy Father, aggressive expansion impact minus 10%, and when you have all that, you get papal ambition, which is discipline plus 5%. The Pope becomes very strong. People call him Battle Pope for a reason, because uh, he, he's just so darn strong later in the game. Um, our countryside starts as uh, five provinces of Roma, Umbria, Ancana, Romagna, and Avignon. We have 81 development in five fort level. The Ottomans are in truce with us after the uh, Crusade of Varna, and then of course we get the vassal of Urbino, and all that includes with that. So uh, let's go ahead and jump on in. It will be an Iron Man game to get the achievement. We're going to call this Pope Man. Start the Iron Man mood. Yeah, I'm looking very much forward to this. This is a very, uh, it, it 
I played a few little bits just to kind of see what the start's like. It is difficult. So once you get past the start, though, I'm sure it's like any other campaign where you just have to power through. So anyways, the papacy of the papal state, 1444. Europe in 1444 is on the verge of the Age of Discovery, yet it is reeling from the shock of the failed crusade of Varna, as well as the threat of the Ottoman Empire in the east. The Tree of Tours has left Western Europe with an uneasy truce, one that looks like it could break at any time, due to the ambition of the kings of France, England, or the Duke of Burgundy. In the north, the Kalmar Union remains in place despite the, disp the deposition of its Pomeranian king by the Han Hanseatic League, as well as dissident Swedish and Danish nobles. The Russian states are barely starting to feel free of the Tartar yoke, as the Golden Horde continues to fracture ever since its crushing defeat at the hands of the Timur. As the High Renaissance approaches, Italy and Germany remain fraught by the constant friction between the Emperor and the many autonomous princes. The entire continent is on the verge of major changes, and it will be up to you to lead the Papal Papacy throughout this period. Our religion is Catholic, of course. We get Tolerance of Faith plus one, Tolerance of Heretics minus one. Uh, we get uh, the Papal, or Papal Controller, so we get a lot of cool things with that we'll talk about in a minute. We'll get, colon we'll get colonization benefits if we decide to go that route. I would like to try that. Um, it might be one of those extra little things when I've gotten through the beginning ideas. Uh, government is an Umbrian papacy. We are a papal theocracy, which means we have cardinals. We get to be the Pope. We have devotion instead of legitimacy. And we get like a huge uh, prestige bonus like all the time. And then the environment is in Europe in the HRE. So let's take a look here at the starting conditions. Now, there are some ways that you could kind of go for this achievement and kind of like break the game, I guess. Um, the only thing that I really, you know, am going to do in that is probably declare a no CB war against Riga. That's like the only thing I would do. Um, in the meantime, I would like to try to get an alliance with Austria so I can join the HRE. Uh, Austria does not like, let's see, the Ottomans, Bohemia, and France, they don't like him either. So probably going to be bypassing France for a little bit here. Let's see. Castile does not like Aragon, England, and Morocco. And I'd like to be friends with them. So we're going to improve relations with Castile. Let's see. Poland, what do you think? You actually, all right, you don't like the Teutons. So that's good for us, for some parts. Um, I think I'm going to try to ally you at some point. So let's improve relations with Poland. All right, other than that, there's not really anything for us to do. Eventually, I would like to fight, you know, Aragon for Naples and stuff like that. Uh, so let's take a look here. The Teutons don't like us, Provence doesn't like us, and Savoy doesn't like us. That's a very interesting thing there. Um, I think adding the Teutons early is a good idea. I think adding Provence is a good idea. Instead of Savoy, I'm going to add Florence. Because Florence is somebody we're going to be right next to, and I would like to take their land uh, that looks good there. I think that's good. I think we're all good on that front. Let's go ahead and add a new leader. Recruit a leader. He is a 0101. Good googly moogly. That's terrible. Um, I guess we're going to have to have him. I don't have much choice. We're going to add one, two, three, four. And then I think I'm going to add a advisor. National manpower or discipline? Let's, yeah, let's go with the discipline. Well, discipline. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it. It's fine. Just deal with it. All right. There we go. Nice little start, I think. Let's uh, change this over to best guess. Thank you. We'll have to keep on lookout for alliances here with Castile and Austria and Poland. There you go. Yep, they're starting again. Livonian Order. Right off the bat, Riga has Livonian Order. That's crap. Can't do anything about it. It's okay. Um, Let's hope France gets involved in this so I can fight Provence. That would be cool. Hmm. Lorraine is a junior partner. But shouldn't he have that junior partner? It's okay, I can fight Lorraine and Provence. That's not too bad. Let's see here. You return on. I'm going to go ahead and send you out there to protect trade in the Genoa node. 
I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna take these guys, select this. You're gonna return as well. You're gonna go out there and go hunt pirates in the Genoa node. You, mission complete, build the force limit. We do have like three special things to integrate Urbino, reclaiming Ferrara, and combating the heresy. That's about it. Not much. Alliance with Aragon, no thank you. No, Aragon, I, I don't really want anything to do with you. Like, we're not going to be friends. The Surrender of Maine. England declared war on him. Okay. So if I want to wait this out until France won't join. Actually, I could attack Siena as well. I could excommunicate Provence. Went that time, too. Giving me the uh, cast of spelly I need. England, please come over here and start whooping France. We've seen it in other ones. Could it be done in this one? We hope so. God, this guy's just so terrible. Just horrible. Horrid. Horrible. Letting our manpower jump. You will take an alliance. Good for you. Perfect. Austria is an alliance now. This is at 44 of 48. What about Poland? Um, Sistine Chapel. Hmm. The Capella Maggiore, the Greater Chapel, is used for masses that can be held in smaller, less public spaces than the Basilicus. The, year has, the years have not been gentle to the once magnificent chapel that was decorated by Fra Angelico. Its walls are leaning and is in ruinous state. The chapel should be demolished. The structure is not safe enough for the many masses that, held there, that, are, they are, that are held there every year. A new, more magnificent building should take its place. There are famous artists that would be honored if they were asked to decorate the Sistine Chapel. Huh. Let's do it. It costs money, but let's do it. I know I have to wait on something. Um, there's a there's a wait there for like Michelangelo, and I don't think I just triggered that. There you go. Poland is now friend. Come on, France. You know you do not want to protect that guy. I know you don't want to protect that guy. This is getting close. Yep, there's Vatislaw. So that's now a... Uh, Lithuania is now a junior member of Poland. Nope, this still is not a thing. It looks like... Honestly, it looks like England's not going to be able to do anything against this. Yeah, see, France just jumped the gun and ran right over them. 48 of 48, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen, Captain. Ooh, Navarra is now landlocked. Never saw that, okay. Nope, no Portugal. Offer alliance to Castile. Yes, nice. Look at that. There's like all oh, this is broken up and stuff. It's kind of cool to see. Nice to see it actually. That's the way it should be. Um, what do we have to be for me to add HRE? Ooh, Jubilee in mains. Um, we're going to let him do this Jubilee. I think it's fine. Um, we must be at 146. Okay. Trustworthy allies. Oh, come on. He's now added Ferrara as a friend. That's not good. Hmm. 
Rule challenge, lose 10 devotion. Crap. Good thing is, though, devotion... Well, no, it's not right now. Power projections at point zero four. Sistine Chapel's at point one. Hmm. We'll condemn Jerry. Condemn Jerry. Uh, alright. Siena's a republic. I would like to stop the Shadow Kingdom before it happens. The only way I can do that is adding myself and then adding, uh, then attacking and adding all this. That's the Venice territory. Looks like this right here is already starting. Savoy, the Knights, and Siena. I would have no help. Yeah, next communication. I would immediately go to war. I could go to war with them then. Fighting Milan, though, doesn't sound amazing. Um, I don't know who else they would... They could probably bring in, like, Alsace, too. I'm not sure. Not to mention I would have to fight Austria. They're not just going to take that excommunication lying down. Come on, England, go fight them. I wish England would fight them. Uh, let's recall that diplomat. If he's no longer needed there, we won't worry about it. We'll go ahead and start adding some territory to the HRE. This is going to significantly improve the HRE's initial standing. We're now part of it, though. Uh, looks like Ottomans have, are declared war on Venice. Is Savoy in that? Savoy is fighting England. Say, so yes, yeah, in that war. Hmm. Yep, Shadow Kingdom just talking about it. Um Declaring War on them brings the knights and Sienna. See, going to war with the knights now is be kinda cool. You go ahead I could go ahead and probably vassalize them. Hmm. Quickly go attack these guys. I don't think I'd have a, any help. Oh wow! Actually, it would be all of these guys, and I have zero help from a Poland, Austria, or Castile to do it. Now, this would bring Riga and the Teutonic Order in, but I would need to wait. If I wanted to just attack you. Livonian and Magdeburg. But I could excommunicate and go do it. Hmm. I don't know what to see. I think this that's going to be kind of like a viable thing here shortly. Declare war here. Albania wouldn't come in. Siena would. Venice. Okay. I had to fight Venice to do it. Weirdly, Byzantium hasn't been taken yet either. So maybe there's something there. I don't know. I mean, taking Byzantium is a good way to stop them. And with the allies I do have, you know, the Ottomans would eventually want that. I don't know. I have to figure out what I'd want to do. I declared war... Serbia comes in. Serbia is not at war right now. He has nine. I'd have to find a way to get those men there. Fight. 
fight Athens too. Goodness, there's a lot there. There's a lot of options. Let's figure it out in the meantime. But all right, guys, I have to end it here. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out a link for Discord in the description below, and I'll see you all next time.